Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Pokemon Stadium 2 Round 2, where last time we finished the entire Round 2 Stadium by finishing off the semifinal and the final rounds of Prime Cup. So if you missed that episode, those are two amazing matches that just took place. So be sure to check those out in case you missed them, because today we're going to start the Gym Leader Castle for Round 2. That's right. And furthermore, I'm going to use my Crystal Team that I just used to beat the Prime Cup. That's uh, level 100. And we're going to take on the entire Gym Leader Castle with level 100 Pokemon. So it's basically going to be Prime Cup invades Gym Leader Castle. It's going to be exciting. Um, but first we're going to take on Bird Keeper Matt and Violet Gym Leader Faulkner to start everything off. So I'm going to get my team together and then we're going to be right back. Please stay with us. All right, guys. So I have my uh, crystal randomized team together. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with round two, Violet Gym. Now keep in mind, I'm gonna um, separate all of these episodes out into their own gyms. So every gym is gonna have its own episode. Um, so just so you all know that up front, Ooh, look at this team right here. As you would expect, all six are going to be flying types. So what I'll do is I'll put in crunch time to start. Zap Fluff 2 in the middle. And then... I think I'll put in Pseudo for number three. The only reason why I didn't put Sun Psych in here was because of Murkrow, specifically. Okay, so Bird Keeper Matt gonna start with Togetic. Let's fix that real quick. Okay, that looks better. Okay, um, so we're gonna go for Rock Slide straight up. Now keep in mind, starting in Gen 2, Rock Slide can flinch, but we don't need the flinch because Togetic is going to go down in one hit from Rock Slide. Okay, number two, going to be Murkrow. And we're going to go back for one more Rock Slide. Crunch time, absolutely spectacular in Prime Cup. Murkrow going to go Drill Peck on us. Oh! We do get a not very effective critical hit, but it still barely scratched us right there. Oh! It's absolutely destroyed that Murkrow with a super effective critical hit. The same move we used to beat Lapras in the finals of the previous episode, as Adam is going to send in Farfetch as his last Pokemon. Crunch Time also thrashed some legendary birds in Prime Cup along the way as well, by itself. Oh! Another super effective critical hit. And that's going to do it for Battle 1. Wow, Crunch Time dominant once again. Hmm, you raised your Pokemon better than I did mine. Okay. I can't let you get past me. The honor of bird trainers everywhere is at stake. Oh, look at this. Faulkner's got a freaking Zapdos. Oh my goodness. And he's got a Charizard. Oh man, this is going to be crazy. Um, and Faulkner might have Mud Slap like he did in round one. Uh, Alright, I think I'm going to start with Sun Psych. I do have the King's Rock on Sun Psych. So even moves that normally wouldn't flinch, might flinch every once in a while. Um, let see. And then next we're going to have Zap Flip 2, and then we're going to close with Crunch Time. All right, here we go. The first gym leader is Faulkner. The flying 
All right, Faulkner is here. Wow, he's not playing around. He's going for the big guns early. Let's go for Psychic. Ooh, that did a lot of damage. Okay, we're going to get mud slapped. Okay, so I'm going to put in Zap Fluff too. Now we're going to take some super effective damage off of Mud Slap, and we're going to be two turns behind. But if we can land Thunder Wave, just like we did in Battle 3 of the Prime Cut, we should give Crunch Time a major advantage. Thankfully, we get Thunderbolt instead of Mud Slap this time. So we're going to go Thunder Wave. Okay, we're getting mud slap. What's this? Ah, Ouch. Just off. The stat changer succeeded. Let's see if we can hit this. Yes. Okay, good. And Zapdos does not have a uh, a berry to cure that. Um so we might get mud slapped again. I think what I'll do is I'm going to put up a light screen. That way we won't take a whole lot of damage from Thunderbolt. Because I'm going to switch out after this. Alright, I'm going to switch back to Sun Psych. Yeah, Zapdos continuing to work those accuracy drops. I'm going to go for another Psychic. There is a chance we can miss. But we don't miss. We do connect, and then we have Swift. So Swift is going to hit no matter what. Let's see if we can knock it out. Nice! Yes! Or Speed Star, as it's known in Japanese. Zapdos gonna go for an early exit out of the match. Faulkner gonna send in Dodrio for its second Pokemon. Alright. And I think all these Pokemon are gonna carry Mud Slap, so I'm gonna switch back to Zap Fluff 2 to try to slow Dodrio down as well. We'll see how we do. And I'm thinking Pidgeot maybe is third. He's going to go for Tri-Attack. That's going to hurt. Ooh. Okay, Light Scream fell. Hopefully we don't get critted, burned, paralyzed, or frozen. We get burned. So we can still land this Thunder Wave and go down to the burn. Ooh, please no berry. Ugh. Crap. Had Miracle Berry. Um. Okay. I'm gonna put in Sun Psych. I want to save Crunch Time for Pidgeot if he's got it. In the meantime, I'm going to go for Sidekick on Dodrio. Dodrio is a high physical attacker. Wow! Okay, no status. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Good job, Sensei. And this next side beam should knock it out stone cold. Beautiful. Pokemon remain. 
Now keep in mind, um, saving all your Pokemon doesn't matter, and and he goes for Skarmory instead of Pidgeot. So the gym leaders here don't always use their aces in round two, is what it looks like. They'll use different Pokemon. He does not use Pidgeot this time. Okay, that's interesting. But yeah, continues don't matter in gym leader castle. If you lose, you gotta start all the way over. And Skarmory's got Drill Peck. Just like the Murko did in the last round. Oh! Definitely gonna give Crunch Time a lot of help. Wow. Wow. <laughs> These flying Pokemon are impressive. First the Murkrow in the previous match and Skarmory here. Really all we need is one well-placed Sacred Fire and we should win this. I would go for Rock Slide but I think Steel may resist Rock Slide. Whereas Skarmory can't resist Sacred Fire at all. We just need to hit once. Beautiful, that's it. We're gonna take home the Zephyr badge. First try. Beautiful. That's it. Violet Gym cleared for round two. Zapdos, Skarmory, Dodrio, down for the count. Round two, Violet Gym battle clear. And that will open up the Azalea Gym, where we will spend our next episode. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of round two, Johto Gym Leader Castle, our first one. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications for more episodes. You can also follow me on Facebook at Zori Gaming for my live streams, so be sure to check those out, as well as the playlist that I will link in the description below. So till next time, guys, you all take care, have a great day, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.